From our ancestors leaving Africa to astronauts landing on the moon, we've always been explorers, and now we're entering a whole new chapter with space colonization. It's not just about science, it's about advancing our technology and reshaping our society. In this video, we'll dive into how space exploration is really changing our world and the way we think about life beyond Earth. We're pushing the boundaries of what's possible, both in technology and in our society. Think about the big steps we've already taken, like launching Sputnik, the first artificial satellite, and those incredible moon landings. These weren't just cool feats. They were huge leaps that showed us what we can achieve. Remember the space shuttle? That was a game changer in how we thought about reusable spacecraft. And then there's the space station, a real example of what we can do when countries work together in space. All of these achievements have been building blocks, not just in tech, but in how we see space as part of our future. Now we're looking at actually living on other planets. It's an amazing time, so let's get into how we're actually making space colonization a reality. It's all about the tech we're developing right now. For starters, we've got some seriously cool advancements in rockets and propulsion. Companies like SpaceX and NASA's Artemis program are working on ships that can take us to the moon, Mars, and maybe even further. And these aren't just any old spacecraft. They're built for the long haul, for real, sustainable missions. But getting there is only part of the story. We need to live there, right? That's where habitat technology comes in. Think about building homes on the moon or Mars. We're talking about using resources from these places, like soil, and maybe even 3D printing habitats. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's happening. Life support is another big thing. We're working on systems that recycle everything, air, water, and they even help grow food. These are being tested right now up on the ISS, and they're super important for making sure we can actually live out there in space for a long time. Communication is key, too. We need to stay in touch with Earth no matter where we are in space. That's why innovations like SpaceX's Starlink are so exciting. They could give us the strong, stable internet we need way out there. And let's not forget about robots and AI. They're a big piece of the puzzle, helping build habitats, doing research, and keeping things running. AI might even help us make decisions and keep an eye on our health. So yeah, the tech we're creating isn't just about traveling to other planets. It's about making life possible and sustainable there, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. Let's talk about how space colonization is going to change the way we live and think. It's a lot more than just setting up shop on a new planet. It's about totally rethinking how our society works. Imagine setting up a community on Mars or the Moon. It's going to make us question everything from how we govern ourselves to what we value as a society. Think about it. We'll need new kinds of laws and ways to make decisions up there. It's not just about who gets the best window view in the habitat. It's big stuff, like sharing resources and running the whole place. We might even start using AI to help make big community decisions which could give us some cool ideas for how we do things back here on Earth. And culturally, this is huge. Building communities in space could bring people together like never before. We're talking about a whole new level of teamwork, where people from all over the world come together with one goal, to make life work on another planet. This could really change how we see things like global issues here at home. It shows us how connected we all are, no matter where on Earth or off it we come from. Economically, space colonization opens up a world of new possibilities, literally. From mining asteroids to space tourism, we're looking at creating whole new industries. This isn't just about making a few bucks. It's about reshaping economies and maybe even spreading wealth and resources in ways we haven't seen before. And you know what's really mind-blowing? Thinking about how becoming a multi-planetary species is going to change us, not just physically, but in our heads too. It's going to push us to think in new ways about our place in the universe. 
Imagine the new kinds of art, books, and all sorts of cultural stuff that could come out of living on different planets. It's like opening a whole new door to creativity and understanding. But let's be real, living in space isn't just a walk in the park. There are some big challenges and some serious ethical stuff we need to think about. Top of the list is making sure we can keep these space colonies going without messing up the planets we're on or running out of resources. It's a fine line between using what we need and keeping these new worlds in good shape. Then there's the whole debate about who's in charge of space, like who gets to say what happens on the moon or Mars? Should space belong to everyone, or can countries and companies claim parts of it? The decisions we make now are going to set the rules for space exploration and living for a long time to come. And let's not forget about the risks. Traveling to and living in space is risky business. We've got to think about the safety of astronauts and anyone who's going to live out there. It's about making sure everyone knows what they're signing up for and that we do everything we can to keep them safe. So yeah, space colonization is super exciting, but it's also a huge responsibility. We've got to tackle these challenges head on and make ethical choices that'll set us up for a good future in space. Now we can't talk about space without thinking about what's happening back here on Earth. There's a lot of money going into space colonization, and it's sparked a big debate. Some folks are asking, should we really be spending all this on space when we've got big problems like poverty, climate change, and health crises right here? It's a tough question. We've got to make sure that exploring space doesn't just benefit a few people, but actually helps everyone somehow. And here's another thing. As we start living on other planets, we've got to think about making sure everyone gets a fair shot. Space shouldn't be just for the rich or certain countries. It's got to be inclusive. We've got to watch out for creating new kinds of inequality up there. Imagine if only a certain group of people could afford to live on Mars. That wouldn't be cool, right? These are big issues, and they need smart solutions. That's why we need everyone, scientists, ethicists, policymakers, and just regular folks, to get in on the conversation. We've got to plan this out together, so our future in space is something that's good for everyone, both up in the stars and down here on Earth. Imagine what's coming next in space travel. We might be looking at new propulsion systems that could change the game, maybe even getting us close to faster than light travel. This means we could zip across the solar system in no time, making those far off planets and moons way more accessible. This isn't just about saving time, it's about opening up more of the universe for us to see and live in. Every step we take into space brings us closer to understanding more about ourselves and our potential. It's an incredible journey, and the best part is that we're doing it together. Let's keep our eyes on the stars and our minds open to the endless possibilities that await us. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.